Hello everyone, welcome to the GDevelop 5 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a multiplayer platformer game in GDevelop 5. So, um, first of all, I want to show you something on um, file, create a new project. So, um, it's actually an example in GDevelop 5 that shows us how to create a multiplayer platformer game. Um, but that works with gamepad. So, that's why I decided to make this tutorial to actually show you how to do this, um, with your keyboard. So close that and I'm run this um, preview. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is my first player. That's my first character and my second character. So um, I'm actually controlling both of them with my keyboard. Um, by pressing the keys. So I've added some um, features to this. Um, like the health bar, the coin, and you know, the car um, camera management. So um, in this tutorial, I will show you how to do this. So close that. And let's open GDevelop 5. Now create a new project on um, platformer. So now um, first of all, we need to duplicate some things. Um, I'll play a hit box. Let's duplicate that. Um, duplicate. Let's rename that player. To hit box and on our player hit box, let's rename that. Um, just make our work more organized. So just name that player one hit box. You can also duplicate your player, duplicate um player two. Let's rename our first player, rename player one. So um, I just said it's my player two. I need to change the sprite. So add a stand sprite. Um, here it is player stand. Add a jump sprite, assets, player, um, jump. We'll add a walk sprite. Um, okay, I'll just like this, 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 and delete that. So I will add um, a walk sprite player here. So here and sorry here and open. So apply. Now, um, I've actually changed my play two. We need to edit the hit boxes of player one and player two. So first, player one, edit um behaviors, uncheck default controls, apply. Do the same for player two hit box. Edit behaviors, uncheck that, and apply. So um, now we can put this into the scene for player two, and also put in your player two into the scene. Here we go, and there it is. Now we're done with our whole scene for now, so let's go to our events. And here I have uh, I've actually grouped mine um my player one events into a group. Plays that inside a group, so I'll just rename that player one. Here it's in a group. So at the beginning of the scene, it hides the object player one hit box. Um it places the hit box or it places the player at the X position and the Y position of the player one hit box. So right shift key is pressed. Um, I'll just change that because I want to use up. When up key is pressed, um, let's add an action since we do we're not using the default controls. So when up key is pressed, we need to simulate a jump. Simulate a jump key press for a player one. Sorry, a player one hit box. Simulate a jump key press for a player one hit box. So um now here. Left key is pressed. Let's add a condition. So we need to simulate a left key press. Um, simulate left key press of our player one hit box. Remember, we're not using um the default control, so we have to fill this in. And right key is press simulate. Um, simulate a right key press of our player one hit box. And apply that okay so here now I think we're done with our player one now let's just copy that and duplicate um, our group so copy and paste now you copy the group and paste it here here's our player one so I'll just remember to play it two so at the beginning of the scene hide the object um, player two hit box so we just need to change this to our player two so um, do player, 
player two hit box and the player one player two hit box to the position of player two um now we can fill in our jump key for player two so i, I will be using w so when w key is pressed um the number of current animation of player two is equals to zero and the number of current animation of player two is set to um two simulate pressing the jump key for player two hit box okay just keep on doing this play one hit box um play two hit box is jumping player two hit box is falling player two hit box is on the floor play one hit box or play two hit box is moving and here so player two hit box is moving now when the player two hit box is jumping then the number of current animation of player it sets that to one of player two to one um number of current animation of player two sets to one current animation of player two sets it to zero current animation of player two changes that to two so um left key is pressed now let's change this a so when um a key is pressed flip um player two horizontally And simulate pressing left for play to hit box. So when D key is pressed, um D on our keyboard, when D key is pressed, um flip horizontally, flip player to horizontally, and simulate pressing um right for player two. So um I think for now that's all we need to do here and let's run that. So here, here we go. Um, here's my first character. Um, uh, my second player. You can see I can move up my second player here. Um, here, here's my first and my second character. Um, so that's all for now. Um, in my s in the next tutorial, I will show you how to add in the health bar and some other features. Um, so that's how it's done.